Most insane simulators you've ever seen. Hey there, boys and girls. We're here once again, diving into the world of simulations. They may not be everyone's cup of tea, but who can resist the allure of experiencing something exciting and unique that's impossible in real life? It seems people just can't get enough of immersing themselves in new roles, diving deep into the wildest simulations. Today we're going to talk about some of the craziest and mind-boggling simulators out there. So hit that like button and smash that subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, let's get started. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 Our first game is none other than Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. It's an insane combat simulator with cinematic graphics, falling under the genre of real-time global strategy. Just like its predecessor, this game puts you in control of an army, which you can unleash upon the opposing side. And that's pretty much the whole gameplay. No economy, no building, or political decisions. Instead, you get complete freedom when it comes to choosing troops, their numbers, and the battlefield. But here's the twist. Wars aren't limited to humans only. You can gather a horde of tyrannosaurs and see if ancient megafauna can withstand modern technology. Each entity here is intricately animated, if you can call it that. And there are plenty of nifty features. So the battle simulation in this game is truly top-notch. Goat Simulator 3. Maybe you'd like me to make you feel a little nostalgic. Goat Simulator 3, the first part of which was released almost 10 years ago, has maintained its explosive popularity. This simulator, with its sandbox elements, revolves around a goat. Yes, you heard it right. A goat. You can pull off a plethora of insane stunts, fly around with jetpacks, perform mind-boggling tricks and even skydive. And if you want to unwind, you can pay a visit to the yoga studio to find your inner balance and achieve your own goaty zen. The core mechanics haven't changed much since the first game, with the goat's ability to latch onto objects with its long tongue, jump high, drive cars and headbutt people. And of course you can still indulge in wild shenanigans but now you can do it all in co-op mode too. Dear Simulator, if you thought Goat Simulator was crazy let me introduce you to a game that's somewhat similar but with a different twist. It's called Deer Simulator, where you play as a deer wreaking havoc in a human city. As the title suggests, you must unleash chaos as a crazy deer. You can engage in various unlawful activities, such as ramming cars at full speed, shooting both humans and animals, and even destroying the environment. The local elements of the surroundings can't withstand the might of a deer and crumble easily. And after a certain number of misdeeds, a squad of sheep police will be dispatched to apprehend the criminal deer. Why not, right? On the other hand, the game also offers peaceful activities. For example, you can greet and engage in conversations with pedestrians, take a rest on a bench or even dance. In short, there's no shortage of craziness in this game. Hand Simulator I'm sure you've never really thought about controlling your own hands. In real life, you do it effortlessly, without even thinking. You raise and lower your hand, move it around and it's all done in a snap. But have you ever wondered what it would be like to be in a situation where your hands just don't obey you? Well, you can experience that in the simulator called Hand Simulator. There's nothing extraordinary, no fantasy or mysticism involved. You simply control your character's hands from a first-person perspective. You'll be given ordinary tasks that are usually easy in real life, like playing with a spinner, brushing your teeth, tying shoelaces, or even rotating a car's steering wheel. The control scheme is designed in such a way that you have individual finger and joint control. So maneuvering your hands here is much more challenging than in real life. Prison Simulator Now in the game Prison Simulator, you'll take on the role of prison guards. According to the storyline, the main character has been promoted and transferred to prison duty. It's probably how promotions usually go, right? Anyway, now you must restore order at any cost and do everything possible to ensure that the correctional facility runs like clockwork. As a guard, you'll have to receive new inmates, search cells and inmates for contraband, confiscate prohibited items, and let's not forget to fulfill the legitimate requests of the prisoners in order to prevent a riot, which will inevitably happen if you abuse your authority. In general, you can do whatever you want, but remember that your actions will have consequences in terms of your relationship with the administration and the inmates, especially if you start abusing your powers. Bum Simulator A simulator that can truly be called insane is Bum Simulator. Here you find yourself on the streets with no money, clean clothes, food or friends. All you have is yourself and a bunch of possibilities. So what will you do? Will you unleash chaos, begging money from passers-by? Or will you simply start life from scratch, getting a job? Yes, here you can choose the path of success, through which the main character can eventually return to a normal life. You can also explore the city, 
uncovering its secrets in unsightly places. In any case, the life of a homeless person in the beginning will be far from easy. You'll have to truly beg for alms, fend off angry locals and police, rummage through dumps and trash cans and scavenge as much as possible. Surgeon Simulator 2. Perhaps even those who aren't fans of simulator games know about Surgeon Simulators. So, in the second installment called Surgeon Simulator 2, we find ourselves in the midst of surgical adventures once again. There's no significant change in the essence of the game, and there's no real storyline to mention either. You'll still play the role of a surgeon, directly controlling the main character's hands. The task sounds quite simple in words, successfully perform organ transplant surgeries and save lives. But in reality, it's far from easy. The surgeries are complex, and the tasks sometimes seem impossible. Not only do you have to keep your composure, but you also have to have precise control over all your movements. Plus, you need to be attentive, accurate, and avoid poking someone in the eye when they complain about their leg. Additionally, you'll have to master a multitude of mechanics. For example, each new operation will require you to study the procedure itself, find out what equipment should be used, and determine which instrument may be needed. In short, it's challenging, a little funny, but very interesting. Placid Plastic Duck Simulator Get ready to have a blast in Placid Plastic Duck Simulator, where you have the opportunity to embark on a fun adventure as a little rubber duck. Your mission is to navigate through various colorful water locations. No intense battles or fights for survival here. Just the sun, the soothing sounds of the sea, water slides, and a catchy melody playing on the radio. You control the adorable duck and peacefully float around the pool. There's not much else to do, but if you've always dreamt of becoming a rubber duck, here's your chance. Despot's Game, Dystopian Battle Simulator. Despot's Game is not your typical simulator. It's more of a blend between strategy, role-playing, and yes, a simulator. It offers a ruthless and merciless hack-and-slash experience in a dark post-apocalyptic labyrinth. The game starts with naked amnesiac people wake up in, in a dark and grim maze filled with traps, monsters, bosses, and other enemies. The gameplay is structured in a way that at the start of each battle, tactics are developed, and each character takes their assigned positions. From there, it's an uncontrollable frenzy where people either win spectacularly, lose terribly, or die as a squad. You start over and over again, feeling the weight of countless failures. But fear not, for each time you defeat enemies, you earn resources. With these resources, you can buy equipment for the surviving members of your party, making them even more formidable. In this game, you are the true despot, and you can do whatever you want with the people. Mother Simulator If you want to practice taking care of a newborn baby, then Mother Simulator is the game for you. I don't envy you, though. Here, you have to become a real mother. The gameplay is quite simple, although it may sound unrealistic. Regardless, your task is to take care of the baby, feeding, changing diapers, bathing, and much more. Everything is done from a first-person perspective, providing a complete immersion into the protagonist's body. You'll feel the presence of a small, demanding baby in your home, requiring your undivided attention. Each level will demand more from you to achieve victory as the difficulty increases. It can be tough, but also hilarious at times. And most likely there will be moments when you just want to throw the baby out the window. Ravenous Devils Now in Ravenous Devils, we have a culinary simulator with a touch of horror and dark comedy. The main characters, Percival and Hildred, have a burning desire to get rich quickly in their new city. They've purchased a dilapidated building with an atelier on one floor and a cafe on another. The only problem is, they don't have the funds to buy raw materials. That's when a genius idea pops into their heads. Percival will kill their potential customers, strip them of their clothes to create new fashion designs, and Hildred will use their remains to cook delicious meals for a different clientele. Your task is to develop this business, ensuring everything goes according to plan without getting caught. Advertise the establishment, upgrade the equipment, but please don't ever try this business model in real life. It's a quirky, macabre adventure. Peace Death Lastly, let's explore the arcade simulator of a reaper in the service of death, in the company of Apocalypse. In Peace Death, you, or rather your character, sits right at the gates of heaven and hell. Your task is to guide the individuals to their designated doors. For example, a cowboy appears before you. Where should you send him? To hell or heaven? But what if it's a politician or a demon with horns, or even a drug addict? You'll have to deal with a wide variety of clients, deciding who deserves what fate. Be careful not to make mistakes or disappoint your boss with the scythe, as the clients can be quite cunning and deceitful. 
One may hide demonic horns under a stylish hat, while another may have the appearance of a monster, but be worthy of the heavenly clouds. It's a cool and intense experience, hoping you enjoyed this insane compilation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Game Like, as always, wishing you all the best.